So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do impactful scales in Premiere Pro. I have already made a video on this except in this version you will not be required any plugins at all. So yeah let's get started. So the first thing you need are your clips. In this case I'm going to use this one clip from the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. First of all I'm going to head over to the effect controls and then keyframe the scale. All the way at the beginning you want to set it to 150. On your keyboard hold shift and then click the right arrow about 3 or 4 times. I'm going to click it 4 time so one two three four and now you should head about 20 keyframes forward and then keyframe this as whatever it was originally so it was 100 for me next up you want to click this little arrow next to the scale if it's not already open and then you should get this graph to appear now what you want to do is click the last keyframe and then click on this uh, little like handle below and simply just click and drag it all the way up but not too high make sure it's on the same level as the bar next to it like on the right side right there as you can see and what you want to do is also pull it all the way to the left as far as it can go but also make sure it's on the same level at the same time and now you should get like a type of arc like this and as a result your scale will look like this now although it does look good we can make it look even better so what you want to do is just right click over here to where you would usually import your footage or anything like that just right click and then click on new item and then adjustment layer click on ok to create an adjustment layer and then what you want to do is just drag it on top and then what you want to do is just trim it to around three or four frames i'm going to do about three in fact i'm actually going to do four frames so one two three four next up you want to search for transform in the effects tab and underneath this thought you want to drag and drop the transform effect for some weird reason i have two I have no idea why but I'm just going to drag this one on top onto the adjustment layer and then what you want to do then is make sure that uniform scale is ticked I have no idea why that is not ticked and then once you have done that make sure you are at the beginning of the adjustment layer and then you want to keyframe the scale option and then set it to something like 125 head about three keyframes forward so one two three set it back to 100 and we are going to do the same thing so I'm going to click the little arrow and then use the graph to just pull the handle all the way to the left making sure that it's on the same level as the bar next to it once you've done that you want to then drag this keyframe all the way to the end and now your scale should look like this if we did not have the adjustment layer with the transform effect the scale wouldn't look that impactful and that's basically how you make it stand out a little bit more so yeah anyways thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace